We are Cruise. here for a show, guys. Cruising Canucks, next generation video. <laughs> 3D Cruising Canucks. Can you handle it? We just came. Okay, good morning. I've just left the cabin. Jill's already gone up top to the Serenity deck and looking for a clamshell. So we're gonna go up there and see how she made out this morning. Uh, just after probably about 8.30 this morning. So we slept in a little bit. Time to get this sea day started. Deck nine. Good morning, everyone. Here she is in her clamshell. Let me show you. It's not a cloud in the sky, but we're getting wet. Okay. Wanna go grab a few more pillows? We think it might be the kids water park blowing some uh Ooh, probably really close to you right now. <laughs> there you are, you're really close. Ooh. Hi guys. <laughs> yep, well, we think it might be the kids water park there. It's really windy out there and uh, I think we're going right into a headwind, so probably winds about 40 knots at least blowing all the water from the kids park down on the serenity so we got a little bit of shelter from the clamshell but uh, still feeling some drops hey I need a tea how about you I need to go get some coffee I had to drink half a cup of this one but I was right into my journal so it's cold now so I'm ready for a fresh one yeah there's water dripping on my camera I think so okay off we go so we have moved clamshells we went a little bit uh, left of center at the after the boat here, more towards the starboard side. And the water from the uh, kids' water park isn't blowing down on the, on this clamshell. It's a little drier, but uh, windy and a little chilly actually. This is a different type of cruising for us to come out and not have it kind of warm from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. So, and lots of waves out there. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll give you a show there. I'll turn you around and show you what I can see from. Uh, our clamshell here. I don't know if you can hear it, but the wind is smacking against the backside of this thing and making a lot of racket. Here you go. Take a look. What a cold. It's definitely not hot here. <laughs> yep. I am done trying to pretend it's not colder. <laughs> you oh. generally hear Mr. Knuck complaining about how hot he is. Well, I found the spot to bring him where you can't complain about being hot. Chilly! <laughs> I know. All our fellow Canadians are like, toughen up. Come on, summertime. But it's chilly out here. I think we're somewhere north of Spain, France, the border there. But uh, yeah, we've got a pretty strong, uh, looks like, well, northerly wind, so it must be a chilly wind blowing in today. It is, for sure. And, uh, yeah, so we're wrapped up in our uh, <laughs> Serenity yellow blankets. <laughs> Towels. <laughs> got warm tea, warm coffee. We are in training for Alaska for next July. <laughs> <laughs> is this what it's going to be like? Uh, no. oh, the only difference is here in Europe when you get off and get on the land, it's nice and warm again. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure it'll be that warm in Alaska. Anyways, back to our warm beverages. Wait for the sun to come up. The sun is up. It's not it's high not, enough. It's, it's just not, not high, high enough. enough okay, see the blue dot? That is where we are right now. We are just uh, northwest of Porto, Portugal. And soon we'll be making the uh, right hand turn into the Bay of Biscay. And then uh, Bilbao is our destination for tomorrow. So, there you go. Gotta love technology. That's us. And there's where we're going. Okay, we are done with the outside Arctic adventure. <laughs> and we are heading back to our cabin to drop off some stuff. And we are heading up for Sea Day brunch in the main dining room. So, let's see how that looks. We are all dressed up. For our dining room. I'll show you Joe. That's what she looks like. Down the stairs we go. 
We live close to the dining room, which is nice in the ship. A couple stairways away, and we're eating again. Okay, we've been here now one hour and five minutes at the dining room trying to have sea day brunch. And we have successfully finally ordered off the menu. Took a while. And we did finally get our drinks. So Long Island iced tea for me. And cosmopolitan for me. Yes. Stay tuned. More to come about this experience today. <laughs> Okay, lunch has arrived. I have the aft burger, which Jill actually ordered. We traded lunches, yeah. but she decided to steal my chicken. Well, and this is the buttermilk chicken. I wanted to order it, but I was afraid that the sauce was over top of it from the description, but it isn't, so I can have it. Okay, dessert has arrived. Banana cream pie for me. Well, I had asked for this as a starter, but it came as dessert. So here's a fruit medley, and I had asked for cookies for dessert. I said one or two. I got four. So there you go. It's important, this time check. 12.55. 12.55, we arrived to try to have sea day brunch at 11 a.m. We have just returned. So before we talk about that, Let's what talk about that. Is that a bunny again? Another I bunny. I had a bunny the other day. In a new know. position. Cute. Bunny's cute is he? chilling out for the sea day. A little bit of bunny booty. Mm -hmm. We have services. Not to complain, to get a menu. And check about our back to backs. Not a menu. Or, we're not getting a menu. Not getting the menu, we're getting the program for the day. The app. We are coming to strongly dislike the app. But, take a look here. Two, this will be all there is on the ship. Passengers and maps. No staff needed. Okay, Pringle check-in time. Huh. No prices on the Pringles. What the heck? I saw prices the other day when we got on board and they took all the stickers off. Or some... free now. <laughs> I don't know. I could have swore I saw six ninety nine on these the first day I got on board. But they have now taken all the stickers off. I don't see any with stickers. Hmm. I wonder if the price has changed since we left port. Hmm. Six ninety nine to infinity. You can see where we are. This can't end well. <laughs> what are you drinking now? A little mimosa. What did you discover in the jewelry shop? Oh yeah, well they'll give you alcohol if they think you're gonna shop. Oh yeah? Maybe you got it backwards. They're giving you alcohol to help you shop. Yeah, that may be what it is. <laughs> Check out these waves. It's a little rough out here in the North Atlantic. Off the coast of Spain. Well, I went hunting for some gummy funnels and they are not available on the Carnival Pride right now. So, unfortunately, no gummy funnels to try. It's a snack on my sea day. So, let's go back and see if Jill's bought anything in the jewelry store. Our table's ready. Over and over and over again. Would have been nice to have this table in two hours ago when we tried to book in. We are at the pizza place and this is becoming a decorative feature. There never ever has been pizza in here that you can come up and just order by the slice. Okay, the pizza has arrived in one of the most bizarre pizza experiences on a cruise ship, but uh, yeah, Jill's gone to get some liquids. She's having some pepperoni pizza along with me. So many experiences, it's so hard to explain this new world of carnival. Anyways, we'll catch up later after we have our pizza. Jill's eating pizza. Oh, oh, pepperonis. What do you think? Where does this rank in the world of cruise ship pizza? 
the Royal Caribbean wins this battle. Yeah, doesn't even touch Sorrento's in my opinion. <laughs> it's not even in the same league, not even the same food type. No. Now, we haven't tried Alfredo's because the princess ship we were on didn't have it, so everybody tells me I'm going to love Alfredo's. What's this place called? Secret Garden. The Secret Garden? And the not so secret monstrous waves. So, are you reading your book, same book? There's a ship out there, I don't know if you can see it. The bow of it's almost going under the waves every time. Seas are angry that day. Look at all the other boats out there splashing through the waves, not going to see them ahead of us. We're creaking. late afternoon. Yeah. Welcome to our new segment <laughs> called Sitting on the Couch in the Carnival Obstructed Ocean View. Because <laughs> there is a couch, which yeah. is kind of nice about this glass of ship. The, the, we love the size of the cabins on this on this style of ship for sure. It's a lot bigger than uh, a lot of the newer ships that you're going to go on. You've got a lot of storage space, a lot of living space, and, and a very comfortable size bathroom so that is a plus with this room anyway so we were just hanging out having a bit of a drink getting ready to go meet some uh, friends for cocktails so we uh, relaxing yeah. afternoon big waves out there today i say they're at least 10 feet maybe some are almost 20. Hmm. it doesn't feel it on this huge ship but when we look at the ships beside us it's crashing right over their bows. It looks like it's going to go over the middle section of their ships. Like it is, is scary yeah. looking. They look yeah. like they're going to sink compared yeah, to us. So. For sure. I'm glad I'm on this side of the size of a vessel and not some of those shipping um, vessels that we saw going by us because that would be scary. Yeah, I haven't really felt it except with time. It went all the way up to what's called the Sunset Garden. Garden. Mm -hmm. I think we, before we called it the Secret Garden because, because it is kind of secretly hidden away and yeah. I think it's sort of that sort of its um, nickname for people because a lot of people have been on this ship and has never even found that little spot. But anyways, it's a nice little place to sit and have a quiet spot. I've often read books there, um, but we went to play cards, but it was just a little bit rough that Mr. Canuck thought maybe yeah, was starting being to feel forward it. Yeah. was too, um, not so great for the motion. Yeah, between looking down at the cards and the ocean going by me up and down and yeah, the front of the ship going like this, that it was a little too much motion. So backed off, came back to the cabin, center of the ship, fairly low and uh, everything resolved itself so not feeling it now even though we still got the weather outside <sighs> so yeah so anyways we have been hinting and promising a little bit to touch on some carnival stuff that happened today hmm. and uh it's so hard to talk about these things because everybody always wants to be real and know what do you really think what do you feel about these things and so many things are subjective for sure and experiences can be different uh, from one person to another in the same location and and so we've had some interesting today was odd brunch you know and uh, you know before we see anything you know the staff are working as hard as they can oh. in fact I feel bad for the staff because I do. feel like there's some systemic problems in the company right now that are making the staff take the brunt of it from the customers I sure. don't really understand that and we're trying to be mindful that we're being really respectful of them but we actually but, heard a lady dealing with an issue with one of the wait staff saying, I know it's not your fault, it's not your fault, but you're the one that I have to talk to and I feel bad speaking yeah. to you about it and I'm not sure what her issue was, that's just what I heard a couple tables over and we sort of feel the same way as her. Yeah, we had a, there's probably four tables really close, kind of in a, a U shape, half circle shape and uh, I was kind of overhearing conversations and everybody was having problems, I don't think it was just us, but uh, I know two of the couples I watched one spouse or partner eat their entire meal before the other partner's meal even came. One, we left one table beside us and they still didn't receive their meal while the, while the other person was completely finished. Oh, wow. I know that our, my food arrived cold, like it was the, the french fries were rock hard cold, like not just like five, ten minutes sitting there cooling off, they were cold, cold. Oh, wow. But, you know, in other parts of the meal. And yet, been, what I ordered was delicious. I, yeah. I couldn't complain about the food. The food was delicious. Yeah, most, for the most part, the food's been good. But the staff are definitely running around, and it feels like there's just mismanagement. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel it like does. the staff. It feels like there's a total breakdown in the management of it. And uh, we're not sure if that's cor corporate-level carnival or whether it's the ship level. But 
Yeah, the, the rock steady phenomenal above and beyond service that Carnival's known for. Just haven't been there in some situations so far and uh, hasn't really ruined the cruise because we've had fantastic ports. The rest of the ship's been great. The entertainment's been fantastic. The staff are doing all they can with a smile on their face. So, yeah, but we're just trying to keep it a little bit real because two hours plus to have a brunch. Yeah. Like we arrived hungry at 11 and we really weren't finished eating till 1. Yeah, we arrived at 11, <laughs> took us 35 minutes before they gave us a seat. Then it took us another 10 minutes asking for a menu because they want you to use your app. And we didn't have a cell phone with us because actually Mr. Knuck's phone had died when we were up on deck. And mine, I leave it in the safe. Um, I'm not a big tech person, don't want to be using yeah, it when I'm vacationing unless it's for something I need to do it. We feel there's a problem, that part, part of the problem, you know, we'll touch on it more, but just to give you a hint, you know, it kind of feels like we're being punished for not using our phone and having it in front of our faces right. all the time on the ship, and that's not how we cruise. I know a lot of you don't cruise like that as well, from what I've seen in comments, so that's becoming a frustrating thing. And what happens if you don't have a cell phone? I mean, mm -hmm. we have we have family members, you know, elderly family members, that they just don't own a cell phone. How, how does that work? Are they penalized because they don't have it? But and we by, definitely felt like we were. And by comparison, this isn't just a generational thing and get with the times, because we just got off a Princess Cruise three weeks ago, we just got off a couple of Holland America cruises earlier in the year, mm -hmm. and you had the option. You could use your cell phone, that was fine, you you could do it that way or you could be offered a menu there was no no discrimination either way as far as level of service when we did our seven day princess cruise the first night they asked me if i would like a paper menu and i said yes please and the rest of the cruise i was given a paper menu i didn't have to ask for it night yeah. after night after night after night which is what apparently is happening on this ship which is a little frustrating yeah yeah, we've, we've sat down at the table several times they've given water and then they walk up with the pad and they say what would you like for dinner this evening I've got no cell phone, I haven't seen a menu, and I'm kind of looking kind of blank, saying I, I need to see a menu before I order, and you know, that's something we've never seen before. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we're getting old, but... Uh, I, I, we not... could be, <laughs> but it just, you lose your relaxation on a cruise if you're having to carry a phone. And I mean, we're carrying tech because we're, we're choosing this. to vlog. And so I don't want to have to have a phone um, on top of that because then there really is no disconnect. My vacation turns into a total working thing. And so I want to be able to use my phone when I have time on my vacation to use my phone and respond to Instagram and, and connect with friends and family that mm -hmm. way, but not have to do it because the crews that I've given thousands of dollars to is telling me I need I'm to. using my equipment to do their business is how it feels at times. Mm -hmm. Kind of how it feels. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's been a little frustrating for us. And uh, and they can't tell us it's about safety at this point because we are at full capacity. Yep. full capacity here. There's definitely no social distancing. There's nothing else going on <laughs> about COVID measures on this ship that would, it's cruising like it was prior to the pandemic. So it's not because they're trying to ha have us not touch a menu that someone else has because that's definitely not the issue going on right now. But in the bigger picture, small challenges. We're still being fed. Food's Absolutely. wonderful. It's we're just still a, having the trip of yes, a lifetime. We, we just would like to be given the option. Use the tech or don't use the tech. Get the same experience. And we're not feeling that now. And, mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll, we'll work it out and, and uh, we're still having a good time. So anyways, that's our our long-winded before dinner chat our tonight. Little rant. <laughs> yeah, kind of a rant, kind of a keeping it real. Like you said. Yeah, we it. don't want to hide what you know. We've we've defended Carnival for years from people on other cruise ships saying, "Oh, Carnival's cheap. We're Carnival's the lower class." The Walmart ship. of cruising, it's, right? Da, da, da. Yep. And we've never, ever, ever felt that no. in our 23 or more cruises we've done mm -hmm. with them. Yep. But I am feeling it this cruise right now. I'm yeah. sad to say that I'm starting to feel like a few people that I spoke to on Princess and Holland American said, no, no, give it a try. It's not like that. That's a bad perception. Now I'm thinking, mm, well, mm, yeah. the dining room, that, that perception is coming through right now. And again, not about the food, about how the dining room is being run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Christina Duffy, if you're watching, you got some work to do. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, you need to tighten up that. And and it's funny because it's not like they don't know how to do it right. Because, I mean, I was always blown away with the dining room service. Waiter pulling the chair with the ladies. Not seeing much yeah, of that. That hasn't, like little, that hasn't little happened things, once. Right? The classy yeah. things that you get to expect on a cruise ship. And mm -hmm. Yes, we've been spoiled for sure. But, uh, yeah. but that's why we love cruising is yeah. that the level of service has been uh, phenomenal. And uh, anyways, this has been a challenge right now. Mm-hmm. So... We're going to go have a pre-dinner cocktail. We're going to go back to the dining room, likely without our phones. 
Right. <laughs> yep. We'll see if we how long we have to wait for a menu tonight. Yep. Generally, when we ask for paper menus too, they also just give us one, and so we have to share it. And we're sitting across the table, so that's a little bit of an challenge. If we ask for a paper menu, generally, you know, you should give one to each person that's there. Oh well. <laughs> Not gonna lose weight, I don't think. No. <laughs> yep. And to get a guy's burger, I don't need a menu. So that's yeah. been the highlight still for me. It's been guys burger. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so tonight dinner is a show. Yes. There's a deck party. There is comedy comedians. club. There's, there's band band. great music. We will be busy tonight. We yes. had a quiet sort of relaxing sea day. I think I even had a little bit of a siesta at one point. I realized that I had fallen asleep as we were relaxing. Um, anyways, so there you go. There's the reality. There's the reality. Also, we're having a good time. We're heading out to enjoy it tonight. So. Yeah. Lots of good things to be done in Carnival. Just a couple little tweaks that we, we kind of noticed since our previous cruises. For sure. Okay, off to have that drink. And down, I think there's violins playing in the atrium before we head up to the dining room. Off we go. On a wavy night. Cocktail in hand. Jill's hiding her drink. So I've got the penne, Tex-Mex, and the fire roasted chicken BLT salad. Yes, and I had the same salad as my starter. So Jill and I have ordered the same thing tonight, so I'll let her use her exciting dynamic voice to explain it. <laughs> we both have the chicken Marcella tonight. What are you stealing? I got you on camera stealing stuff. <laughs> luggage. Oh, or I mean, man. not luggage, but... Um, stealing people's luggage? No. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Okay, she's had too much wine. Oh. <laughs> she's stealing laundry bags. Laundry bags. Have to do laundry. So, as I was walking by the photo gallery, I noticed there is a wall there and we're going to have to show you. I didn't have a camera with me. Mr. Kinnick wasn't with me. I was just walking by. Anyways, I noticed there's a wall there. It's called Features Photos of the Day. If it's you, it's your, your it's free or something along that lines. And there was a picture of me from the dining room last night. So I asked the guy, what, what does this mean? And he's like, oh, ring the bell. It means your photo is free. So in here is a photo that they took of me last night at dining room. And I got it for free. Now. I'm saying that it's not really my most favorite picture of myself, but it is what it is. Here's the dining room photo that they gave me. <laughs> Whatever. Go. But anyways, that's kind of neat of Carnival though. There was like around five different photos that they had taken from the date previous day that they had put up of different people. And if it was one of you or your group, you got the photo for free. Kind of a neat little promotion they had going on. Okay. Back here just long enough to get ourselves some whiskey and pop, some wine, <laughs> a bit of a foo foo dress, and off we go. Foo <laughs> dress? Foo foo. It's like a foo foo thing. Uh -huh. Can you do some of that 40s dancing in that? Yeah, I probably could. A little swing dancing, is that what you're talking? I don't know what they yeah. do. They're going to have to give me a little bit of a swing dance. Where they make... shake it. No. Shake it. No. Okay, <laughs> shake it. A no, no. That's too hot for YouTube. You can't do that stuff. <laughs> Minds and not on your phone, so please, no videotaping. Given the popularity of our comedy shows, we kindly ask you to avoid saving seats. Thank you very much for your attention and enjoy the show. Who looks better in three glasses? Not me. <laughs> look at that. This isn't for you guys, it's for us. We, you guys look 3D now. Oh. In there, you guys look 3D to us. It's weird, isn't it? It's a weird <laughs> sensation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
We are Cru here for a show, guys. Cruising Canucks, next generation video. <laughs> 3D Cruising Canucks. Can you handle it? We just came from an amazing comedy show. Uh, do you remember her name? I'm gonna have to look that up. I know what to look it up, she yeah. She's hilarious. She's nuts. We watched two of her shows. Two people tried her. to leave the comedy club as she's doing her bit. She dropped the mic, she ran up the aisle and chased them out the door. <laughs> and they were just going to the ladies' room. <laughs> oh. Anyways, Wait, great time. Back to the show. Yeah. No 2D anymore, 3D all the way. <laughs> Whenever you see these big glasses right here, I have a big hat, that's why I have the big one. Uh, whenever you see the big glasses, that means that it's your turn to put on your own 3D glasses. With that being said, I'm gonna need all your love, all your energy, as we get ready to go to Getaway Island. Let me hear you make some noise, everybody! Get ready for the trip. Things can go crazy, even in paradise. Today is the day we all got cooked. The end of a sea day. Yeah. Sea day number two. That's true. Day six of the cruise. Is that what it is? Oh! Ooh. I fixed you. <laughs> You're going down. It's a little wavy. We just about lost you. You were busy watching us and you just decided to fall over one of the big waves. So I guess there's lots of waves. We'll the tell. Ship, sorry. The ship is moving for <laughs> sure. Oh, it's about to do it again. Yep, keep an eye on you guys, you don't fall over again. We're used to it because we've been on the ship for a while, but you're watching from home, so you're not, you had all the sea legs we do right now to stay up. So, yeah, so fun night, and uh, we thought the second sea day might be formal night, wasn't? So, yeah, we're kind of waiting to see. We thought we'd have some, three. Well, I was just going to say, some people probably did think it was formal night because we saw a few people very dressed up with tuxedos and fancy suits on, but it was only cruise casual tonight. Yeah, so, anyways. We kind of did a little in between. Yep, just to sort of blend in. <laughs> yep, we did a little bit of uh, Gemini Acoustics Band at the Atrium. I don't think I filmed any of that. I put some of it on our Instagram account. We did, yeah. And then uh, we went and did some comedy. Adults, not adults, family friendly. Mm -hmm. You still don't remember her name. And then we went upstairs. The nice thing about the Carnival Pride is Love comedy it. club below the main theater, so you can just run up the stairs. It takes you two minutes, not the, even, to or, get from one way. venue to another. And we did mm -hmm. that, and it was the Island Getaway Show. Mm -hmm. So we had a good time there. I love volcanoes. Remember St. Kitts? We just were there a few weeks ago. And uh, then we went and finished the night off a little more music at the... Uh, Atrium again. Yeah, with Gemini, Gemini Acoustics again. So mm -hmm. yeah. very good band. So when they're playing, we want to see them. So. Mm -hmm. And that's all we have to say. Yeah, tomorrow we have uh, another port. We're in, back in Spain tomorrow at... Bilbao. Mm -hmm. Yeah, provided we make it through all the waves tonight. <laughs> so... Hopefully the captain's got the engines fired up and uh, yeah, we're on time. So we'll find out in the morning we wake up. Yeah, 
Yeah. Feels like we're moving pretty quickly That's tonight, anyway. Freaking, yeah, for sure. And the dancers did a phenomenal job doing a live dance show in the conditions we had today with the ship moving around. We couldn't walk down the aisles out of the theater straight, but they somehow did all those dance maneuvers around the stage, so. True. Even yeah. the, they had a bartender as a part of the show and he poured the liquid into all of those cups without yeah. spilling too. So. Yeah. so yeah, great show. Very good. We didn't get up to the deck party. It's windy and crazy freezing. I'm, I'm not even sure that uh, Philippe was convinced that it was going to be a great deck party. He was gonna... Yeah, he's like, please, somebody <laughs> join me. Yeah, we'll try it, he says. <laughs> we'll give it a try. We went to see music and thought we'd head to bed so we can get rested up for hopefully a big day in Bilbao tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see what we get up to. Okay, time for bed. Good night. Night, night.